Google Earth is a powerful tool and I use it all the time. One of the things I like to do is to share the files I create with others. The downside to this is anytime I make a change to my files, I also have to send a new version to everyone I've shared it with. Let's make a new file. We're going to call this hike. Within this folder that we've just created, we're going to add a place mark. And we're going to call it start. We're going to place it at the mouth of the canyon where I'm going to start a hike. We're now going to add a path for the hike we're going to take. I may want to do this if I'm going hiking alone and need to share this file with somebody else so that they know where I will be. Now that we have two files within our hike folder, we can right click on hike, choose save place as, and save this as a .kmz file that we can then email to others. Notice though that I am saving this file in my public folder in Dropbox. I'm going to delete the original folder called hike from Google Earth. Going to my public folder in Dropbox, I now have a new KMZ file. I'm going to take this public file, right click on it, hover over Dropbox and choose copy public link. You can put this file on any server, and as long as it has internet access and you can access this file, you can choose the link for it and use it the same way. For me, Dropbox is convenient. Going back to Google Earth, right-clicking on temporary places, instead of adding a folder, a place mark, or a path, we're going to choose the bottom option of network link. Here in the line titled link, we're going to paste the link we just copied from the file we created and placed in the public folder of Dropbox. And we're going to title this Shared Hike and click OK. Now with this new file you can see it has an icon of a folder with a light bulb in front. If the light is green your file that you have here is able to connect to your network link and is up to date. If it's yellow and bouncing from side to side, it means it's in the process of updating. And if it's red, it means it cannot establish a link to the network place that you've created. If we right click this file and choose Save Place As, we can title it Shared Hike. And it's going to be a .kmz file that we can then share with others. If you want to update your file, make sure you drop down the tree menu and under the hike create a new let's say polygon this might be an area in which you plan to camp notice when we click OK that it did not automatically put our file within our shared hike the benefit of this is others that you have shared this file with cannot corrupt your original file by downloading it, overwriting it, or deleting it. If we move this camp file or polygon within our hike folder, it does replace it. However, now if we close Google Earth, this file will be lost. To make sure we keep it, we're going to right click on hike and we are going to save place as. It's important that we don't click the shared hike. We don't want to copy a link within a link. That's going to disrupt everything. So what we've done is we've clicked on hike and we've chosen to save the file. And now we're going to overwrite the original. If we delete this from Google Earth and quickly open the original shared link, You can see we don't have our polygon. It's taken a moment for Dropbox to update. If we right click on our shared hike link and we choose refresh, we now have our camp polygon that we just made. The benefit is we only updated the hike.kmz file. We didn't change anything with the shared hike.kmz file. This way we can use this shared hike.kmz file to give to others one time 
and any time we update the original, the secondary file will be automatically updated. It's important to also to make sure that you do not change the file path at which the hike.kmz file is located. Otherwise, you will break the link to the shared hike.kmz file you've shared with others. I hope this help is helpful for you. I'm sure there's many applications in which it can be used, and I have found it to be very useful. Good luck sharing your files in Google Earth with others.